And here, I have Rebecca lying down sideways over an arc barrel. So just to recap earlier, her posture is like this. So the left side is shorter than the right side. So now asking her to lie over on the right side to try to lengthen the left side over the arc barrel. So this is a relaxed position. She might feel a little bit of tension here on the left side, may not be able to go all the way down, but try your best to encourage this lengthening on the left side. And I'm gonna do the same, encourage her to breathe into the top ribcage, into the left side, into the lateral ribcage on the left. So Rebecca, can you inhale and feel that you expand this top ribcage into my hands? and then exhale through your purse lips. Okay, so bring your attention when you inhale, feel this expansion on the left side, focusing on lengthening, and then exhale through your purse lips. So over here, arc barrel helps support the spine in an opposite direction of her posture. So it doesn't require her uh, muscular engagement to force her to be in this position and hopefully she can focus more on her breathing. So I hope this episode is useful as a beginning um, programming of Pilates for Scoliosis. Come back for next week for more Hi exercises. everyone, welcome Bye. back to Education Friday. Today is episode two from our mini series, Pilates for Scol Scoliosis. If you haven't watched episode one, please go back to last Friday and watch that episode first. So over here, I have Rebecca again as a model. So from last week, we were talking about her posture is side bending to the left, stand like this. And we we're talking about how breathing can benefit the population. Today, we are going to progress further and maybe perhaps working a little bit harder for the body so we're going to try to focusing on strengthening the muscles that is perhaps a lengthen for a much longer time. So therefore, it's not the, the side of the, both sides of the tarsals are not even length. One side is longer than the other. And our goal is to try to strike that balance, to trying to, re to rebalance the muscles that are not in balance. Okay. So over here, I have Rebecca lying over on the left side where she's already shortening on the left. Our goal is to strengthen her right obliques here, internal and external obliques. I want her to do ipsilateral obliques, doing a little bit of side bend to the right, away from the side that is shortening by strengthening this side. So for her in the beginning, you might not feel like you can side bend very much, but even visualizing that you are shortening a little bit on the right side, it's going to be very beneficial for the population. So we're gonna try here, okay? In the beginning, you might assist. Gently press this leg down. You're gonna take a deep breath into the nose. As you exhale, engage your core and just think about lengthen up to the ceiling. And then with control, lower down. So Rebecca is gonna continue doing this a few more times. She's doing very well. Maybe bring your eye line slightly forward. Yes. So over here, because this muscle on the right has been lengthened for a long time, she may not be able to peel a lot away from the barrel, but that's okay. In time, maybe you can further strengthen that side. Over here, she has to work really hard to try to bring this rib to the hips, strengthening this side. Very good. A few more times. And then one last one. Good job. Good job. Okay, so here we provide an example of some of the exercises that might be beneficial for the population. It doesn't mean that this is the only exercise that is good for the body. We are showing some of the examples. Once you know the theory, you can apply to many other apparatus. Make sure to come back for the next episode. Bye.